What's some juicy gossip you just found out in your personal lives? 1. Cousin's wife finally caught his cheating butt. 3 years he's been playing her for a fool, but she actually knew. She just loves him too much. 2. Heard that the butthole who got me fired got fired because of the email that I sent to the company's VP. Honestly wish I went with filing for a labor case though. 3. Apparently, I'm adopted. Not really sure if the ancestry thing works. I want to find my biological parents. So much stuff is happening. I don't even know anymore lol. My sister is pregnant with her third child. Third guy. The first father, V, is awesome he has custody of both their child and her second. No biological relationship to him. The second baby daddy has apparently been threatening my sister and V after learning of the third child and that V took her in. V and my sister still have a functional platonic relationship at this point, and due to fear of reproach from the second, and maybe the third, V has taken both kids, my pregnant sister, and his own so with him out of state to make sure there's no reproach from two or three. V is one of my favorite humans. He treats the second child like his own, despite no longer being in a romantic relationship with my sister, since 2010. Dude is as good as they come, in my opinion. This world has too many twos and threes and not enough V's. That my brother asked my mom for a $1000 for rent. She gave him $1400 so he could also pay back a loan. Then he turned around and also asked my dad for $1000 for rent which he also gave him. He then turned around and used the money to buy tickets to Burning Man. My parents aren't going to lend out any more money without talking to each other first. I just found out my neighbor has been having an affair with another one of my neighbors and the kids figured it out. I used to see them go jogging sometimes. Nancy Drew and the Ono our parents are freaking. My ex after one week of being single started dating this SoundCloud rapper. Now she's pregnant with twins. We're still in our teens. Do his song slap though. I'm a teacher. And apparently I don't pay attention to crap. Last year, my vice principal announced that he would be leaving at the end of the year. Let's call him Mr. Bob. I was shocked, as I liked and respected him a lot. It was well known that he was pretty unhappy, and it had been a tough year. I was confused though, because nobody else seemed shocked or upset. At the end of the year, I thought it would be nice to have everyone sign a card for him. But when I took it around people started giving me these weird looks. Fast forward to halfway through this year. One of our teachers showed up with a change of her last name. It was now Mrs. Bob. I congratulated her and said I didn't even know she was seeing anyone. To which she laughed and said you're so bad. I was confused and shook it off. Long story short. I just recently found out that she and Mr. Bob had fallen in love or something and he left his wife for her. He literally divorced his wife on a Thursday and was married by Friday. I had no idea until she mentioned his first name and that they were moving out of the state. Looking back on it, I facepalmed so much. His wife at the time also worked for the district and at one point I ran into her and expressed how much I would miss working with Mr. Bob. She gave me a weird look and said, yeah, well apparently he's been pretty miserable. To which my dumb bust responded, well let's hope he finds what he's looking for, I assumed it was all about his job satisfaction. I'm such an butthole. This was a quality read, and also something I'd do. Our pastor was having an affair with his cousin's wife. One day while giving a sermon the cousin storms into church, tackles the pastor and starts to throw haymakers at him. The cousin's wife is trying to pull her husband off the pastor. The pastor's wife quickly figured out what was happening, ran up and clocked the wife from behind knocking her out. People are trying to separate everyone. Total chaos. I got to start back going to church. Apparently I'm missing all the good stuff. Just found out the other week through the grapevine that two of my exes are now together. My friends were coming to me like hey didn't you used to date both of them? How did that happen? One of them is very mild mannered and relaxed and we ended it amicably because we were getting bored. The other one is hot headed, impulsive, and motivated. That one ended because we both had trouble communicating our grievances in a healthy manner. Given my experience with both of them, I have no idea how they are gonna make it work, but I wish them both luck. Wonder if they bonded over a mutual dislike of you. 
My work requires everyone in our group have security clearance. It's boring work and the most basic of clearances. Wednesday a co-worker's desk was completely cleaned out. We were told she lost her clearance and was fired. Weird, her BFF spilled the beans later. Turns out Sharon had met a man online and they were madly in love. And she cashed out her 401k, her life savings and a second mortgage to send to him. She's 67. To no one's surprise he's not a real person and it was all a scam. He claimed he was royalty from Nigeria. Work found out when she started borrowing money from co-workers and it made its way to our boss. It's very sad but still. WTF she was around when the whole Nigerian email scam was around. She should have known better. Teach a man to fish and he will always have food. Teach a man to fish and he will become a Nigerian prince. My dad is having an affair. Just found out 30 minutes ago. Mom is devastated although I had my suspicions. They've been married for 46 years. Dad is 73. A girl I worked with accused me of getting extremely drunk while babysitting her child and told the entire building of people I work with. For starters, I don't drink. She compulsively lies and everyone knows her for that, but I still can't believe it. Oh, and she paid me $10 for watching said kid and then stole it back and blamed it on one of my house guests. Wild. When an ex and I broke up a little over 4 years ago, it was bad. We were both getting clean and on methadone. The things that were said. November of 17. Ex asked a mutual friend if he and his girlfriend could come stay with me since they were homeless. I'm an idiot. I can't say no. I was homeless for 10 or so years, so I know how bad it can be. When I kicked them out, they had stolen so much from me. I didn't have a lot to begin with. The bee even stole a bunch of my underwear. I literally just found out about an hour ago that she is in jail for possession. Got caught with 40 ounces of liquid hurrian. Karma baby, karma. A year ago my family member, 26, discovered that his fiancée, 29 of 7 years, who he has 2 children with had been having an affair with his younger brother, who just turned 18. His brother was living in his house rent free at the time as well. So his fiancée left him for his brother and had a fling with him for a couple months. The younger brother is basically homeless now, jumping from friend to friend to crash at their houses, while working at a job that he makes minimum wage at, $7.25, while she is still living under her ex-fiancé's roof. She then decided she wanted to work thing out with her ex-fiancé so they got back together and decided to reconcile the relationship which left the younger brother furious. Shortly after that, she finds out she is pregnant but does not know which brother is the father. Her fiancé said he would raise the baby as his own even if it was not his. So she decides to keep the baby. This makes the younger brother more furious because she aborted the child before this baby that she knew was the younger brother's. So the younger brother verbally attacks her for aborting that child and keeping this one because there is a chance it is her fiancé's. She is unemployed during this time. So her fiancé is paying for all of the expenses. Nine months later, still unemployed, she has the baby and it ends up being the younger brother's child and they all try to do co-parenting. The baby is three months old now and my family member's fiancé left him for his younger brother again. After all this, we tried to hang out with him and our other friends at our house to get his mind off the entire situation and he invited her over. Did not ask us if it was okay or even mention it. She just showed up, knowing dang well everyone at our house does not want her there. He told us that if he is okay with hanging out with her then we should also be okay with hanging out with her. My cousin has been together with his wife for 14 years and has had a girlfriend for just as long. Neither of them knew about the other. He got caught because of an image on Facebook. His wife's sister posted a family picture which my cousin was in and got recognized by his girlfriend's sister's acquaintance. He got away with that for 14 years. I have a co-worker I'll call Jess, who always talks about her kids in detail and asks for favors because of her kids, i.e. picking up shifts, asking for rides, etc. One of our other co-worker's son goes to the same bar as said girl, she doesn't know who he is. And one night was spilling her gut about how she always takes advantage of her co-workers and that she doesn't even have kids. She doesn't know that we know. It would be a shame if all of her co-workers suddenly had kids and couldn't cover for her anymore. 
One of my workmates found another guy we work with on Tinder, but he's married with a 3 year old at home, and his bio and photos said nothing about any of that. My ex-wife and I finalized our divorce last June. She's giving birth in a few weeks with a guy she was cheating on me with. If it was anyone else I wouldn't care as much, but since it's this guy, it hurts. OMG email invited me to buy them gifts off of their baby registry, so I'm trying to think of the most petty item I could get, though I know I shouldn't show I give a crap. Buy them a paternity test, it will get in new guy's head. My gran has a brother who I've never heard of nor met, who lives in London. They lost all contact over 30 years ago after my granddad died, and he spent the money my gran sent him for transport up to Scotland for the funeral on drugs. My mum told me this over Facebook last week. My two friends just found out they have the same sugar daddy. They had both been under the impression that they were exclusive with him. Man, to be rich enough to sugar daddy for two girls at once. Truly the American dream. <laughs> Not recently but the biggest is that my aunt got arrested a while back for embezzlement. She didn't do any jail time I don't think just has to pay it back. This isn't much of a surprise though because after the roof of the blockbuster she managed collapsed she stole all the candy lol. Well my dog acts like she doesn't like our new cat but I caught them playing last night and as soon as she noticed me she runs over to me pretending she wasn't playing. Scandal. I have no life. This was the peak of my weekend. I have a cat that hated an ex-boyfriend. She would fling herself on the ground and cry out like he had pushed her. I watched her do this as he walked by 10 feet away. He would claim innocence and I wasn't sure how to take it until I saw her do it to him. So funny. But I took it as a sign that the cat didn't like him. So. An ex-friend of mine from high school is now in the middle of the second divorce. Apparently it's because she cheated on her second husband with her now current boyfriend. This is the second time she's cheated on her husband and I'm curious if she'll marry the current boyfriend and then cheat on him. My co-worker makes $10 an hour works part time and pays for her living, still married, boyfriend's rent and child support cause he's broke. She just found his bank receipt showing $17k in his checking account. Commenting from my other account. A couple that we have been friends with for a few years now, both very normal people with vanilla jobs, took a trip overseas that was supposed to last a week, not unusual for any of our group of friends. No one had heard from them for close to a month until we found out they've been arrested on the other side of the freaking earth trying to smuggle out close to 1 freaking million dollars for an international drug cartel out of the country they were visiting. When we heard the news we were just sitting there quietly in disbelief for about 5 minutes. My buddy got so drunk at a party, he whipped his dong out in the living room. This is juicy because he's in his mid 30s, has 2 kids and a great job. His wife told him he did it the next day, cause he sure as crap didn't remember, and nearly everyone present was a co-worker of ours. My stepbrother started dating this girl a short while ago. They were invited to my wedding, but then his dad basically uninvited him to the wedding because it turns out the girl is a prostitute and my stepbrother will bring her to clients. So he is kind of in pimp territory. Also she makes pee movies, and she's pregnant. And we assume it is my stepbrother's baby. My family is quite normal otherwise. This is like mega gossip for my family. 1. I am not comfortable giving out her P name. But she is in the BBW category. 2. As far as him being a pimp. She was doing this before they met. He is still technically a pimp. Doing deliveries and such. But this isn't some human trafficking thing. According to the information I have. 3. They found out by someone on my stepdad's side of the family stumbling onto her pee online. My stepbrother is in a few of the videos. The reason my mother was also pee was because she got them a hotel room for the night before the wedding. And the location change for that date was noted on her calendar. Basically my mom was worried the police would think she was a pimp if my stepbrother and his gf got in trouble with the police. Considering she paid for the room on her credit card. The more I read the wilder this becomes. Some time ago some girl jokingly said she wants her BF to get her pregnant or else he will leave her. Guess who's unexpectedly pregnant? Best advice for these girls, freaking won't make him yours, and a baby won't make him stay. 
I just found out that one of my work colleagues who just returned from an two week expensive holiday with his wife in Iceland has just found out his wife has run up about £50,000 debt on numerous credit cards. Oof. That's a large amount. What did she spend it on? One of my female friends, who looks like a slightly classier version of Courtney Stodden, confessed to me that she enjoys the thought of too hot shirtless men fighting over her. She said she is considering goading her boyfriend into fighting some random dude who keeps slipping into her DMs. Just tell her to watch MMA with the sound off. My grandmother told me a couple months ago that around the time of her divorce from my biological grandfather, another lady in their small town had a baby. When grandma finally saw the baby, after friends suspiciously tried to keep her from seeing it, it looked exactly like her soon-to-be ex-husband. I was the first person to be told about this. My mom now knows, but my aunts and uncles have no idea they have another half-sister running around somewhere. For those that have suggested trying to find her, my brother took a DNA ancestry test last year. I'll ask him about the family tree part and what he found. Regarding telling the other family members, it's certainly not my place. The problem is that biological grandpa, who will be BG from now on, was a piece of crap. He was abusive, drank himself to death, and abandoned my mom. The other relatives want to just move on. He isn't talked about anymore. Grandma is trying to respect that, especially my uncle, who didn't speak to her for a long while because he felt like she was just trying to turn the family against BG. If they accidentally find out through a DNA test, it truthfully would probably be less drama that way. Last note, the reason baby was easily identifiable aside from suspicious behavior was largely due to BG being a redhead. There weren't too many in town, apparently. Funny enough, something similar happened where my grandpa cheated on my grandma. However, the woman that my grandpa had cheated with didn't want their baby, so my grandma adopted her. Both grandparents are dead, but bless my grandma for including her as part of the family. The baby is now one of my cooler aunts. Life is weird. My friend, who shall remain unnamed, has been trying to get with his stepsister's boyfriend. Well not so much trying to get as trying to get in a relationship with. Cause the video he sent me of stepsister's boyfriend bent over told me he already got him. But wait there's more. Boyfriend is a very influential local pastor's son. The same pastor who drives around town with stickers all over his car like God will punish sinners. Only through Christ can you be saved. But wait there's more. Pastor is cheating on his wife with friend's mother. Friend is getting married next weekend. They've been together a few years and have a two year old son. At his bachelor party, we were all poking fun at him on whether or not he was ready. S faced or sober he is 100% committed to them. Another friend of mine is close friends with the bride who is apparently questioning everything about their relationship. And has repeatedly stated that he's not the type of guy she ever imagined seeing herself with. This is going to end well. Some girl in our year at school posted on Facebook the other day how her boyfriend had supposedly cheated on her. They had a full blown argument in the comments just on Facebook for everyone to see. Yesterday she posted a picture of some keys tagging her boyfriend in it saying just bought our first house together. Well that's not gonna last. My young, hippie chick, sweet, neighbor has an alcoholic bf. Middle of the night I heard her screaming for help and I immediately knocked on their door. Young dude wasn't happy to see me. Silly words exchanged and I managed to get her into my home. Sometimes we need a time out, regardless of age, to take a breath or two. A few hours later she went home. Turns out the BF's mum is M head and broke into a neighbor's home madness ensued. And before her arrest she convinced her son to share her meds. They don't know what he took but it didn't react well with him. What kind of mother does that to her son? Now she is awaiting him to bail her out. I was blunt with him and said he needed to focus on himself and his life. Ro, good for you for actually responding to a call for help. The world needs more people that care enough about others' safety to overcome the awkwardness of intervening. Friend, who I'll call Joe is 12 years older than his girlfriend, who I'll call Jessica. They met when she was 18 and he was dating someone else, we'll call her Mary. He cheated on Mary with Jessica. Mary went psycho. They broke up and he and the Jessica got into a relationship. The next few years, she'd sneak out of college to meet him. 
Her family didn't like him because he was so much older and thought he was only in it for her money. Somehow they made it for 9 years. A year ago, he said in some social media post that he was single. Two months later, he announced his engagement with a young woman. Talking to friends with more familiarity of the situation, it turned out Jessica had to put up with a lot. Mary continued to be psycho and harassed her lot. This was because she was 34 and was planning on having kids with Joe before he cheated on her. And so she considers Jessica her life ruiner. And Joe apparently cheated on Jessica as well. Triggering mental health issues in her. After a psychotic episode, they broke up. But then he wanted to settle down and have kids, so he proposed to Jessica. And she accepted. Now they are planning a big butt wedding. I can't wait for the shit show it's going to be. This crap happens so often and it's depressing. The whole I have no options because I'm, insert balls equivocation here, so who cares if they're a little abusive is a mentality that needs to stop. Apparently for years my parents have told my teachers I have a learning disability. I didn't know I had learning disability. I don't think I have a learning disability. I asked them why and they said it takes about $1,500 off the cost of my university tuition from some government grant so I guess I have a learning disability. Update. I asked my parents more questions about this and I apparently got tested when I was young and have a legitimate learning disability diagnosis. My parents are in committing fraud, they knew all along that I was diagnosed and I just recently found out about it. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.